All right, hey folks, uh, got a set of the Blank Wheel Co. checks from Thrift Skate Washington. Uh, they sent me these for free to give my thoughts in a quick review. So just wanted to do a little bit of a breakdown video after I've skated these uh, for essentially like a, a weekend, a hot weekend. Um, as you can see, the they're broken in, but they're not, you know, they're not gone. So I wasn't at a hill that I'd be, you know, just sessioning and doing huge slides. This was more mountain road skating. So if you've seen any of my reels, uh, you may have seen the skating that I was doing. Um, but you can see all still round and let's see. All about the same size. You can also see from here that there's no weird, like urethane swirling issues. So for example, there you go. That would be like a swirl where you can see the urethane's a little bit like weird on the contact patch. Um, so the first impressions here, super good wheel, uh, solid wheel that's pretty predictable, uh, faster than I expected. I was expecting these to be a little bit sluggish because they are like $33. Um, but they're, they, they held their own. They're, they're about average for a free ride wheel, which is good. Um, and just wanted to get into a little bit of an overview on what you're getting when you buy the checks. So these are 72 millimeters tall, so just about the same size as a Kevo when it's new. Uh, the only difference there is the contact patch is 47 millimeters. And then as you can see, this is a round lip free ride wheel. So the outside lip is a little bit rounder and the inside lip is a little bit flatter, kind of similar to like the Blood Orange Drift uh, series. Uh, the core placement in here, it says that it's offset slightly, but I would say it looks almost center set. Um, the only difference here is, again, the, the lip profile is asymmetrical. So you've got round on this side and flat on this side, which either way, you're not getting a huge lip, which is the big important thing uh, when it comes to a free ride wheel. wheel. Um, like I said, under 35 bucks, so these are $32.99 a set, and this is skater owned and operated, so you're supporting a skater when you uh, purchase a set of these. Uh, one thing that I noticed, the cores on these are actually non-standard from what I've seen in, in the States. Um, as you can see, like a snake core here is, is a little bit different, and like, like a Tyler Howell Arbor wheel, the core is different. So that was my first time seeing this core. I think these are slide perfect cores, so uh, European cores. Uh, but what I noticed with these is that they, they're really tight. Um, so it was surprisingly difficult to get the, uh, the zealous bearings in on these. You can see they left a little bit of like a, a hug mark here, but I think that's better because you've got a better grip on the outside race of your bearing. So you'd have less just slop which could lead to like honking. These did not have any honking issues um, and they slid really well right out of the box. Um, so let's just kind of take a look at the bearing grip in that core. Like this. Like that's like solid in there. And then I still have to use a skate tool to finish cranking this, so. There you go. So that's, you know, that's tight in there. And honestly, pretty impressive for a cheap wheel. Like, I was expecting the core to be, you know, existing, but not super precise or anything. Um, so great to see that these more affordable wheels have really, really good cores, especially when, you know, like snakes, by comparison. Let's see if we can even pop these out. Yeah, like, these are kind of insane to get off, but there you go. Okay. 
compared to like a snake here. I mean, I barely even had to like, there you go. And there you go. So like these, they're, they're fine. Maybe this is because it's like a used wheel, but I don't think I've ever had this much trouble putting bearings into a snake. So the core on these is like 10 out of 10. Um, for 33 bucks, uh, this is like a, a great throwback wheel. If I were learning how to skate and I wanted to like dump thane lines, these do thane a little bit. Um, I was more skating, you know, an open road. So I wasn't really looking back and like finding thane lines, but I could see these thaning on like a hot day if you're sessioning a straight road. Um, but yeah, would recommend these, especially if you're looking to core a set of wheels. I could see these wearing down, you know, I, I'm sure I'll core them in a month. Um, if I was on a mission to core them, I'm sure you could probably core them in a week, maybe even a couple days if you live in like Arizona. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check these out. Uh, Thrift Skate Washington, thank you for sending these to me for a review. Um, and if you'd like to see more review content like this, just let me know and I'm happy to uh, do reviews on the gear that I have already.